Check in my beautiful people, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another beautiful day. Alright, here we are going to know. So, if you watch um, the first part of the video, which would have been the journey leading up to now, then you will see how we get here. If you don't watch that yet, I will leave the links in the description so you can go and watch that. Anyways, one thing we must tell you, know, um, super hot outside, I sweat like crazy. But guess what? It's absolutely beautiful. All right. So far, um, we spot some dolphins, river dolphins on the, on the water already, even though we never get to catch them on camera. So hopefully further on in the video, we will see them more closely so we can get to actually record them. Now, it has been, uh, let's see, maybe three hours up to this point since we reached here so we had to um, take a boat then take a uh, van and now we're waiting on another boat to take us further in into the jungle where we'll be doing the tours so now we are about to board the boat which will take us on our way into the jungle guys yeah, so we are spending the next three days totally isolated. No phone service, no pickup, so there is no internet. No, you can't get cars or anything. You're totally locked off from civilization. <laughs> but such is nature, and we are we are all up for it. So, stay tuned, stay tuned. Yeah, you want to come through? Yeah, my people check in again. So, this is what's going on. You don't know, we're there. Um, out from the water again. This time we are in a much um, lower boat. And the experience, trust me, it's super, super nice. The breeze is a welcome addition because the sun and the heat outside is no normal. Unlike in um, Sao Paulo, it's really cool. Out here, so really hot in Manaus. Yeah? So, it's a beautiful, beautiful look. We show the walk one.
people so now we are up on the third boat but we have some luggage to go through the, the track with Jano Star. Oh <laughs> so we have to go load up and move out so far we see some turkles we see some we see um two K man something similar to like alligator is a farmer alligator um we see some pink, pink dolphins and this is a river guys so freshwater dolphin freshwater caiman one of them is right there i did fly the drone and get i did fly the drone and get to go up a little bit close but now like we say we'll have some some stuff that we're gonna carry guys this is so hard see we are come through the track Not left long there. Eh? Something left. Yeah, I mean. yeah. So people these three things trust me. Heavy. And we have make a way through through here with them. Lord God. Man. What is this? Ugh. I wish we then go. All right, do you want to take? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Is there still something left? Uh, I'm not sure. Whoa. So, guys, we're going on two boats again. Yeah. So the water is really low because it's the dry season. Mm. Yeah, I see man I'm a bill one bridge right there, so, so they're packing it with the same mud for them dig down from the bank there, so. One thing for sure, people, the sun super hot. Look, you can just see how, how much I'm sweating. So, like I say, it's dry season. Usually, all of this have water, but because of dry season, um, water level low. All right, thank you, God. Get, just keep the sun like this for a little while. When said the rest, I will come with him. Where are you going? See you later. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not going to eat you guys. I'm from Africa. Hey, just whistle. Just whistle like this. Yeah. All right, guys, so the first group going off because um, the other boat is yet to come. Usually, it would be an engine 
boat, as you can see the engine pan it, but because the water level is low, they have to turn it into a paddle boat, okay? Yeah, because they don't want to damage the... Whoa, well, they must start it. Alright guys, so then gone up up river. So we're gonna catch up to them later. Um not sure if the same boat will come back for us or another boat will come. So from the journey start we took um three boat rides so far. Well this one will make the third one actually. So we did two and then we uh we also had a a really long drive by bus so we are deep 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 inside the forest you see me there's literally no cell service no internet nothing yeah totally isolated and well in nature right now so we're going into the shade while we wait for the boat to come back or the other boat to come. So stay tuned, watch our go on. Going to Amazonas, so this is what we have to show you for this time now, right? So this is our adventure. So we are like from Manaus to here, like 90 kilometers from Manaus south, Manaus to here. Okay, we are not too far from our place, but the only Thing we cannot get there right now because the water is very low and so we have to wait for another transport our boat so we are just like uh, from the two rivers so inside here on your right side it's a lake inside there it's a small small channel on that side on your left side that's the main river okay that's the main where actually all the locals who lives around here travel on that river there okay so the river name is called Mamuri so we are starting to wait for a boat, waiting for a boat, and after heading to the lodge, okay? The lodge will have another, another vision, another, another view. Okay. Okay. Okay, so um, what are some of the, the wildlife that we can expect to see? Well, wildlife on the riverside now, on the river, but the boat, but we have two seasons where we can also see the wildlife. The best time to see wildlife here in the Amazon when the rain start coming. So that's uh, April, May, June, July, and actually all this place where we are here, everything goes on the water, okay? All so when the trees, water gets high, submerged. yeah, the water sure, goes up sure. like almost like five or seven meters more up, okay? So oh. when the water dry, this is also a situation. But the best time to see the wildlife is when the water gets high. Okay. What you find up in the trees, right? You can find like monkeys, sloths, iguanas, toucans, macaws, and Perkypine, sometimes boa constrictor, okay, it's what we have up in the tree. Okay. But as the now the water dry, we have to walk by foot into the floating forest, that's where we're here, to spot the animals. When the water is high, we do all by boat, okay? Mm, but right okay. now, to see wildlife too, we have to go back to the main river. The main river is called Mamuri, on that side, you will see many more, like for example, turtle we saw on the way, yeah, yeah, we saw water turtle, turtle uh, caimans, dolphins, and if you're very lucky also, you can see the slots on the riverside too. Okay, this is the wildlife here we have in this part here. But, uh, so here too, there's an animal that's called capivara. It's or we call it uh, a water, water rodent, mm. right? Okay, they jump yeah, yeah, in the yeah, water yeah, too. Yeah. About jaguar, it's not easy to spot. You have to be very lucky to see jaguar here, right? So anaconda too. It's a lot to find anaconda too. It's like not when you come here to the Amazon, people want to see this wildlife. You have to be very lucky. <laughs> okay, so, but sometimes we see, sometimes not. But the best time now, best to see right now is dolphins. Okay. You see a lot. Dolphins yeah, and, and we, caiman. We, we did see. At nighttime, we saw, we will see a lot of caiman. The eyes shine. Okay. Yeah. So, um, is it, is it 
like dangerous with all these you know different type of wild animals so uh to be here they are not dangerous uh, especially in this place here sometimes what is dangerous here in the river uh stingray and also um big black caiman that's we the size is about like four or five meters right sometimes the local from the amazon with a small boat they get attacked with this big mm -hmm. black caiman that's dangerous and sometimes from the river again electric eel oh. or sometimes stingray yeah. we have that so other animals than that ah the jungle hike on the dry land not here what we have dangerous there uh, scorpion uh, snake poison snake uh, frogs and also this ants we call the bullet ants mm. right this is the one is danger for humans but this is not really happen sometimes sometimes like is we are very careful with with this nature okay okay nice and um and on our way coming here we did see the 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 two waters meet yeah the two uh, the two rivers was two rivers meet. that's like back to Manaus. it's behind us yeah, to yeah, Manaus. yeah, yeah. So yeah. interesting for you guys, travelers, um, who is going to Brazil and to Manaus, Amazonas, we make sure we show everything uh, what Amazonas has, right? So uh, Amazonas is very big. Amazon has 2.800 million square kilometers. And it's hard to see the whole thing like in three days. Yeah. You have yeah, to stay yeah. here. You have to live here like <laughs> three or four months to see the whole Amazonia. So we have the meeting of the water. That's where uh, it's interesting. Right, the two rivers does not mix because they're different. One is black and one is white. And also about the mosquitoes, right? This side here, where we are here, in the rainy season, there's a lot of mosquitoes. Right now, it's no mosquitoes because we're in a dry season. Great. They die because of the, the heat, the temperature, yeah. everything gets less. But when it starts to rain, lots of mosquitoes. The white, the black river is like this. There's no mosquitoes at all. Interesting how the the weather, the climate change, mm -hmm. everything is up here. Yeah. Yes. Um, and you, you said uh, people actually live here. So, and you say when, when it's rainy season, even the trees get covered. So how, how the houses survive? Like, how do they make the houses? Well, uh, is we have this house in Portuguese, it's called a palafita. That's woods, big woods like this. Tall. Grow uh, in the ground. They build it on the ground very stiff mm -hmm. and after they build a house like almost like four or five meters according to how much the water mm -hmm. rise yeah okay not here not much but if you go back to the white river amazon where we just passed the two rivers i think you saw it on the yeah, way yeah yeah all the house they're built uh, very high from the land that's just in case the water gets high but 2021 it was the record so that house they go on the water Okay, okay, sometimes of year, not all the season of the rain, rain is dry season is not the same, high season is not the same. So this year was less, less uh, flooded. Okay, okay. okay great, so great. Amazon is like this, but and on the Amazon riverside, the White River is very interesting. There is a uh, land like this, right? The people don't cut the forest down. They use the empty land. They have a uh, lots of plantation there. They plant a lot there. Mm -hmm. And every time when the water dry, they return to plant. So people have to plant like have the crops about like three or four months and after that the water comes again so they have to be fast planting and growing and then selling to the market okay right so that's the side of the amazon okay and do these the people who live actually live um over here they they go, like go into town like in in manaus are well just... uh, uh amazonas is very big okay manaus is the capital manaus has about like two and a half million population and around the amazon like 100 200 kilometers away from manaus 700 kilometers from manaus they all have towns there people oh. don't go from here to manaus okay for yeah. example manaus is the capital and uh, here they have like small towns around here where they have everything like where everything shops, comes where everything comes from manaus shops everything. everything is there yeah and okay. uh this little shops little 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 small town they call municipal mm -hmm. right and people from around here they go there they don't need to go to manaus okay. so there also they have like a uh, bank gasoline station schools, hospital everything. schools around here we have local schools okay right so like like a last uh under small small kids like seven until 12 years local schools here and the interesting about here they have a school boat 
Mm, School boat is they have here too. Everything is organized, so everything and is not underwater. So and <laughs> in the school they have also the snacks. You have to go to school. It's all come from announced the government support the local from around here too, which is good. So that's how mm. the local life in this part here. Um, are there any like indigenous people? I mean, like like real real indigenous people left in, no, in no. the Amazon. Here who lives, we are all local. Okay. All local who lives here. Oh, okay. Indian tribes, you want to see Indian tribe, you have to go far away from Manaus. Like uh, seven, eight hundred kilometers from Manaus. Right? That's, you meet Indian tribes here, there. But here is all local. Uh, people who live on the riverside and people who live from fishing, from farming, people who work with a tourism lodge, right? People who, who live from fishing. Uh, this guy here, he's a good fisherman with a big harpoon. Oh, okay. He's fishing on that river there. Yeah. And the big fish that he caught, he sell to the lodge. Nice. But it's a luck. When you go to the river there, on the main river, uh, it's not like a chance you're going to catch midget. You have to be patient to catch this big fish. Yeah. And the big fish is called arapaima in English, or called pirarucu in Portuguese. <laughs> We're going to try. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. You can swim in the river. It's nothing happened. Just fine. <laughs> right? Just like the Amazon doc documentary, you know, documentary that makes up yeah, stories. Yeah, but yeah, here, yeah. not like, not in everywhere you can swim like that because there is some place where there has huge caiman. If you swim inside there, they will attack you. But for us here, yeah. it is because they have so much food. Oh, okay. So they don't attack people by that. I know people eat the caiman sometimes for filet. Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. So thank you. Big up, blessings. We are. That is it. Any questions? Talk with us. Yeah, we're here. Tutaj e, mamy w składzie tutaj prawdziwego youtubera. Nazywa się tak, jak ma napisane na koszulce Kola Smith TV. Chłop pochodzi z Jamajki i ma ponoć całkiem pokaźny kanał na YouTube, więc ciekawe się dowiedzieć, co ma do powiedzenia. So, Kola, blessings. Blessings. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Okay, so um, I am a Jamaican YouTuber. I have a, a team, well, I have three teams. I have two teams in Jamaica, one in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, the main team is about seven of us. Uh, the, the, the other sub-team in Jamaica is two, and then the one in St. Vincent is four. So each team have different tasks that they carry out. The team in, in St. Vincent and the, and the one in, in Kingston, the other sub-team, they are responsible for feeding homeless people mm -hmm. and people who are less fortunate. All right, the main team, which is uh, me and some of my other guys, those are two of my other guys over there, mm -hmm. Climber and Papi, and we have um, the remainders in Jamaica. We, we just um, go to the mountains, go to the rivers, to the seaside, you know, and nature like this and just cook, enjoy, you know, and just uh, post those content and it kind of, it, it gives our viewers, you know, a sense mm -hmm. of, um, well, a memory, you know, mm -hmm. a walk down memory lane because persons leave Jamaica for a long time and when we do these videos, it brings them back. And these travel videos now, it, it just gives them like, uh, so it's like an educational type of thing for yeah. them. Okay. Yeah, so they have never been here. So, you know, they know what to expect when they come. And, you know, they just experience um, what we see. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's it. Uh, so, you, uh, so you said you have three teams. So there's a three lot of teams. people. So yes. you are very professional. <laughs> 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 we try to be, yes. Yeah, we try to be. Wow. How long do, do, do you do that? Okay, so um, it's, we have the channel, like, for a long time, but professionally we have been doing it for like three years, wow. four years now. Yeah. Wow, that is nice. Yeah. And you said that something about cooking. So yeah. are you a, a, a chef? Yeah, you cook? Uh, well, people, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of persons give us that title, you know, of being a chef, but I would like to call myself like a creative cooker. We tend to um, put foods together that people would normally put together. So something unusual creative we try to be creative okay yeah tell me i i uh, i saw that you have quite big baggage so do you have knives 
you know, <laughs> <laughs> all that kind of uh, plates and uh, kitchen with stove. Okay, or usually, or like usually that. we yeah, would, yeah. but but not on this trip. This trip was just um, for us to come and, and basically just explore and, you know, see what we saw in Brazil. So um, it was more of a, uh, like a tourist type of mm -hmm. tour for us, not really um, cooking. Not really cooking on this trip. <laughs> but they would have a kitchen over there, so well, maybe you would, cook something yeah, yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they if they allow us, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> wow, mm -hmm. it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I think that's all. Okay. Okay. So, uh, where where are you from? From Poland. Poland. Okay. Nice. 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 Yeah. I'm just a simple traveler. Uh, no, you. I'm. Too I I take videos only for my memory. You should, you should, you should do a YouTube channel. One, yes, you know? I know. I have plenty, Post it for the world to see. I have know? plenty of uh, material, but finally it lands on hard drive, hard disk. Yeah, you should, you should post them for people <laughs> to see. It's, it's fairly easy to create a YouTube channel, and you know you can upload the content, and um, other persons can experience what you see, and you can earn from it. You know, so it's it's a win-win situation. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so consider it, man. <laughs> I know yeah. that, I know that. Maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, thank you. Uh, your name again. is Colas? Uh, my right name is Miguel, but the uh, YouTube name is Colas ah, TV. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm nice Thomas. Nice to meet you. Thank Thomas you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings. <laughs> thank you. One day we must visit there, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have very good kitchen. Yeah, you yeah. You will yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. Especially soups. Uh, very delicious soups. And things which uh, you eat only in Poland. Nice. Like nice. bigos, I love bigos. It's a dish made of cabbage with uh, with different kinds of meat. Oh, okay. It's our traditional dish. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm, I'm all for you know different uh, cultures and different cuisines. So that would be that would be nice. You know? Yeah. 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 For sure. You ever <laughs> been to Jamaica before? No. No, not yet. Not yet. All right. Mm -hmm. So hopefully <laughs> we're looking to see you one day. There, you know? You'll enjoy so. it. It's not as big as uh, Brazil or some of the other of places, course, but. It's a very beautiful little island, you know, and you know you can come and enjoy a lot of nice rivers and beaches and stuff, you know. Yeah, one day yeah. I come, but step by step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, step by step, definitely, definitely. Okay. okay. To dziękujemy bardzo. I tutaj jeszcze uh, jeszcze raz napis Kola Smith TV. Yeah, that is it. To jest to. All right, big up. All right, thank you. So I put our tour team um, we we have uh, here with us Hi. tell us your name Maya Maya and Lotem and Lotem um, a couple right yeah, yeah. nice nice uh, where are you guys from Israel Israel one day we must visit Israel you know? we yeah it's beautiful <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we have great food great food nice 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 um, what is it like over there though uh, like the culture the culture very warming very mm. loving. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of beach. And uh, we have to play soccer, watch a volley, and to go to parties. Okay, nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. You ever meet anybody uh, from Jamaica before? No. No. Well, well, <laughs> today is a lucky day. You meet three of us. <laughs> that's, that's Papi there. Uh, that's Climber behind the camera. And um, Colors. Yeah, and you know, you can. Sure. You can check us out on YouTube whenever you yeah, get the time. Check. Yeah, when yeah. we have internet and service, then I'll check it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess we're gonna enjoy the uh, the tour. So yeah. we see we see Thank each other you. around. <laughs> Blessings. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Nice to meet. You. All right, guys. So we in the jungle, and um, it literally just randomly start to rain. Cause remember, we're in the Amazon rainforest. The sun is still out, but it's literally raining. So remember if you're coming, pack a raincoat, carry a tarpaulin, or some garbage bag to, you know, cover up your equipment and all of that. So we're still waiting on the boat to come back for us. So let's go and stay tuned. When the boat forward, we check him back. All right, then, guys. So after a good about 
30 minutes waiting for the boat to return. It finally just arrived. So we are now uh, gonna head on to the boat and that will take us to the lodge where we will be settling for the next couple of days. The rain literally fell for about three minutes and then stop but that is expected we are in the rainforest can rain at any time <laughs> so guys the boat will uh will go with our friends here and we have to wait again another half an hour for it to come back because they only can carry three at a time Such a bummer. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, <laughs> we'll wait for you. yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> so, guys, ah, Jano Star, puppy within goat mode. Are you doing that? Either? Man literally just say, oh, he might go down there before the intel was a tree person can hold my boat. I bite a reach inside that intel. <laughs> and there, there are six of us here, so we have to wait until um, the boat return. Yeah, Anton! That is it. That oh, is you're it. Out here without fear, is it? You're out here without fear. I'm not saying I'm afraid enough. Where are you? Jamaican, Jamaican, afraid of anything? Mm -hmm. What are your experience so far? Boy, people experience so good, good you know, because at first I see dolphin in the river, you see me? And feed them on the boat and see the turtle on the land and the came and they're so, they so close. It's a great experience, you see me? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. well, I want something more assistant, you know. Oh. I want something more, you know. You're sick, man, <laughs> our snake. Yeah, man, kind of, I said, I'm going to wrap up with him, man. Yeah, no, go on. <laughs> yeah, man, when I see him, I'm going to go put him on the head, so. Two time and then carry him on him back, I go up in the tree and him. But the experience so far, good people, really good man, but the place is hot. I'm literally sitting on me, I said, the place is hot, bad. Yeah. Yeah, that is it, guys. It's been. It's been an adventure, just the traveling within itself. You see me? Um, not like with the panel, yes, because we, 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 we're going to be here for the next three days. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we, 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 we see some dolphin, some caiman. All right, and for those of you like myself who never know what caiman was prior to this trip, is like a species of alligator. All right, so. We also saw some turtle. Um, we hear a lot of sound. What me I hope to see is some monkey. And they say we might see some toucan. That, that are them, the bird with the big beak. Or, I think are the bird with the big beak, yeah. And some other stuff. So uh, we just there going to wait. So stay tuned. All right, guys, it look like we don't have to wait long after all because. Another boat is coming. That's one bug. Man, I'm gonna give me a... 
porra do jeito que eu já tô aqui, do centro da vida, o cara é deve... Ah, Esse é uma é coisa, né? É doido. Desde é, 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 as horas da manhã, o cara nessa luta nem comi, meu irmão. E agora eu, rapaz. Não, ele vai escutar, deixa ele chegar aqui, vai chegar aqui. Ah, é. <risos> Mano de propeller, pop off. Luckily they had a spear. Eu não sei nem por onde ficou o pedaço dela. Do jeito que vinha ali. Empurrado. Olha só, tem putido em dano, ready? Alright, off we go now guys, off we go now, next stop, final stop to the lodge, okay, yeah. You can see guys the, the water level is really low so the mafia work both the paddle along with the, the propeller because it's dry season. It's like a little eagle.
back down there. Hello my people, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, I tell you. It's amazing. Oh, beautiful. Yes, my beautiful people, check in again. So uh, we made it to the beautiful lodge that we will be staying, and you guys are gonna see them. They are absolutely beautiful. Wow! All right, so we're now just lining up the boat. We're gonna get off right here. Oh. This is oh, this is nice, really really nice. So let me let me show you where we are going to stay. All right then, guys. So now we are walking up, actually heading to the lodge that we're gonna stay in. My mama telling her, as a matter of fact, just look at how beautiful. They are beautiful mango tree in the center and then you have the cabins there. So we're taking this stairs up. Amazing, ain't it? All right, then my beautiful people, check this out. So we are now going to get some food. So as you can see, this is the restaurant. Really, really nice. And um, this is what we have on the menu. So it's self-serve type of thing. So we got some rice, we got some spaghetti, we got some, some rice and something else, some beans. Uh, some meat and uh, some uh, veg, some fruits, yeah, so uh, let me do this, I'm going to get a plate, um, I'm going to go with just some of this rice, come, yeah, I'm going to get some of this rice. Too much and then just a little of the spaghetti. Bean. Just a little of the bean. And then some of the meat. And then so a little bit of everything. Yep, and then that's a piece of the piece of the watermelon. You see me? Um, I don't know what this, but I will try this as well. I don't know, so that is it. Um, we got some pepper. I don't know. We're gonna put some pepper on the food. So let me just get a. Fuck. Uh, some them serve them for them want to. Ah, the only thing, guys, it's really, really hot. So, I think uh, I want one of them seat them. We're fun of blue. There's a much nicer view out there where you can see the, the water, but the fan is here. It's really hot. Some pepper.
<laughs> yeah, what do you think now? They say um, they have Wi-Fi, but the, the the strength is not all that good. So more 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 than likely, we now get the chance to upload any of these videos until we actually get back to uh, Manos. And by the time we get back to Manos, we have like one day and then we go back to Sao Paulo. The food is good, trust me. Alright then guys, so now um, we got our key and we are headed to our room now. Actually the room is on that side. But I'm taking this way and trust me when I tell you say this this place is genius. Really nice and really really beautiful. You see me? Way out in the jungle. So we have number six, and that's this one right here. There you go. Number six. Oh. So that is it. Three beds, uh, mosquito nets, <laughs> and I think there should be a AC over here because the place is super hot. So let me give you guys just a little tour so all of these are rooms different different rooms uh, we have a nice little balcony here just one thing to note though it is super hot that's the only thing to eat the normal <laughs> but everything else everything else is so beautiful as you guys can see yeah and um they do have wi-fi out here but it's really slow not gonna be able to upload a video as a matter of fact it barely even lets you send a, a whatsapp message so these are some other rooms guys um this see some what looks to be like vultures on the ground over here so let's take a closer look and see i don't know if they are gonna let me get close to them so i'm gonna try to use my phone to kind of zoom just in case they fly up all right so that's them right there let me they're gonna fly they're gonna fly off I'm gonna fly, guys. <laughs> so in Jamaica, we would have called them a Janko. <laughs> and they're gone. 
Uh, so they have a nice little um, garden. Yeah. But yeah. If you want to go up top and get some some um I guess you can go up there and go in one of the hammocks. You have to climb on this ladder. You have to climb on the ladder to get up here. And there are two hammocks. And guys, look at this. That's where I just came. And this is genius. You have this amazing view. I'm going to get the drone and I'm going to get a shot so you can see all of this. Bring it to and call me there. Stepping out, it's Friday night. How I'm longing for this day. Yes, I'm single, oh, we want to mingle, and my friends are. Tell 